Hey percussion, today we're gonna try those 16 notes on our drum pad. So make sure you have your book open to step six. At the top of the page, it shows our individual 16th note. When it's written out, it has two little flags. When they're beamed together, kind of like how our eighth notes were beamed together with one bar on the top, 16th notes are gonna have two beams connecting them because they have two flags. And there's gonna be four notes for every one beat. That means that our 16th notes are twice as fast as our eighth notes. So just listen, I'm gonna play a measure of eighth notes followed by a measure of 16th notes. So for our eighth notes, we're thinking one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four and 16th notes is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a Just like that. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna go just a little bit slower. We're gonna do a measure of eighth notes followed by a measure of 16th notes. So here we go, listen to our tempo. We gotta make sure we're not rushing, keeping the steady pulse. Go ahead and get your foot going. Down, up, down, up, down, up. You're thinking eighth notes. One and two and, just count it with me. One, two, ready and count. One and two and three and four and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now we gotta make sure when we count, we're being very articulate. Remember that first 16th note of each grouping is gonna be the number, and then the other ones are gonna be E and a. Here we go. Let's try playing and counting this time. Everything is alternating, which means you go right and then left. Here we go. One, two, one, and go. One and two. So this one kind of builds up. We start with our measure of quarter notes, which gets one beat. Then we go to our eighth notes. There's two in every beat. And then our 16th notes, there's four in every beat. We're gonna take this one just a little bit quicker. At the end of those 16th notes, you'll see that last measure just has a quarter note. This is called our downbeat. So the downbeat is at the very end, kind of wraps it all up. So let's try it. That first line, just count it with me so we can find our tempo. One, two, Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So you have that one there at the end. Let's try playing it. Alternating your hands. Here we go, come up, tap your foot. Starts with quarter notes. Please don't rush. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Tap your foot and go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a three and a one. And relax. Yeah, so it's super important that we're counting these notes out loud as we play. That way it's going to help us play more in time with the metronome. This time we're going to flip it. Look at line four. So we're playing it in reverse. We're starting with our 16th note patterns. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and then going on to eighth notes, ending with our quarter notes, and we still have that downbeat at the end. So let's go ahead and let's try playing it. There we go. Set your hands, come up, starting with 16th notes. So you're thinking one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Here we go. And one, two, ready and a, go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one and two and three and four and one. Yeah, so you have to have that control so that you can slow down as we go from measure to measure because your hands are getting slower, right? They're going, they're moving the fastest when you're on the 16th notes, then they slow down for the eighth notes and then they slow down even more for those quarter notes. The tempo doesn't change, the speed of the beat doesn't change, but your hand speed is gonna be faster because there's more notes in the 16th note pattern. Let's try that line again. Set your hands, come up, tap your foot, and one, 
two, ready and a go. page 19. Uh, we have some warm-ups there at the bottom. It says warm-ups number three. We're going to look at the one that says warm-up number one under that little grouping. So we have some eighth notes, uh, one and two and on beat three we have sixteenth notes, three e and a, four e and a. That next measure, it's a repeat sign. It has that little diagonal line with the dots. That means play that first measure over again. So the entire thing, the entire line, is going to be those that measure two times and then a downbeat. It will sound something like this. One and two and three e and a four e and a one and two and three e and a four e and a one. So let's try it. Play with me. Make sure you're counting out loud. Top your foot. And one, two, ready, go. One and two. are different. So line one, we were just alternating all the way through. Line two, the stickings are different. They have them written in. So take a look. Those eighth notes are going to be doubles. It's going to be right, right, left, left. And then the sixteenth notes are still singles. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So the sixteenth notes are the same. The only thing that changes is in the very beginning, we have doubles for the eighth notes. One and two. through that line. Make sure you're counting so you're thinking one and two and hands are set. Getting those doubles in the beginning. One, two, doubles, go. One and two and three and the four and the right, right, left, left, three and four and the one. Try it again. One, two, ready and a go. Right, right, left, all of our rhythms up together. Look at line one. So we have some 16th notes, we got eighth notes, and we got quarter notes. So we got to make sure that we're paying attention uh, to which one comes up next, keeping your eyes moving. We are in 2-4, which means that every measure receives two beats, so we're only saying one or two. You'll have your ands, and then you have your e and does as well. So let's take a look at that line. Go ahead and set down your sticks. We're going to just count first. So we have the first line, we have one e and a two, Pretty easy. You gotta make sure you give that quarter note all of its time. Next measure, one E and a two and. So we just have an extra eighth note. Next measure is quarter note, eighth note. Next measure is exactly the same as the beginning. So that first measure is just the, uh, copied again. Then we have eighth notes, one and two and. That last measure, the last two measures are one, two E and a one. So try counting it with me. Here we go, counting only. And one, two, ready and a go. One E and a two, one E and a two, and one, two, and one E and a two. One and two, and one, two E and a one. Now check it out. Same rule as our right hand lead rule as our eighth notes. Every time we have a grouping of our two eighth notes, we start with our right hand. Same thing with 16th notes. For now, unless it's written otherwise, you start those 16th notes with your right hand. So it'll be one E and a every time you see that grouping. Let's try it again. Counting. And one, two, ready and a go. One E and a two, one E and a two, and one, two, and one E and a two. One and two, and one, two E and a one. All right, let's try playing. Pick up your sticks. Go ahead and get your hands set. Remember, alternating every note. Go up to ready position. Tap your foot. Counting as you play. And one, two, 
Left E and a go. One E and a two. One E and a two and one. that you don't morph into those 16th notes too early. You've got to wait until the start of that beat. So for example, um, that second to last measure where we have one, two, E, and a, if you're impatient trying to get to those 16th notes and you do something like this, one, two, E, and a, it's not the right rhythm. You've got to wait until beat two. One, two, E, and a. The, those first two, the space, is a quarter note. One, two, E, and a. So that part doesn't change. One, two, E, and a. After you get to two is when you add all those extra notes. One, two, E, and a. Make sense? Let's try it one more time. The entire line. Hands up. And one, two, ready, go. One, E, and a, two. One, E, and a, two. And one, two, and one, E, and a, two. One, and two, and one, two, E, and a, one. Freeze. Relax. That's all for our 16 patterns today. Keep up the good work. Make sure that you're practicing on page 19, warm-up number three. We're doing lines one and two. And then on page 18, we're doing lines one, three, and four. Happy practicing.